Hello guys! Welcome again to my YouTube channel. And today guys, ang ating uh, lesson ay about arts grade 9. So, we are going to tackle about sculptures from different eras. No? So, from the, the prehistoric or the early age until ancient Egypt and then classical, classical period, Greek sculpture and then Roman romantic period or Roman sculpture and then Byzantine, and then Romanesque, and then last is yung Gothic, Gothic uh, period. No? So, let us start now, guys. Let us start uh, from the prehistoric sculpture. So, during the prehistoric sculpture daw class, ang materials na ginagamit nila, materials used in sculpture vary according to regions and locality. Kasi, uh, during the prehistoric, Kung ano yung present sa uh, kapaligiran nila or within the vicinity of their uh, locality, yun yung kanilang ginagamit. No? Like for example, yung uh, trees, yung wood, no? so yung, kung ano yung nasa paligid nila or like stones, no? yun yung ginagamit nila for uh, the materials they used in sculpting. So sabi dito class, archaeologists believe that their sculpture is a result of natural erosion and not of human artistry, no? So, sabi daw, uh, yung mga archaeologists daw, naniwala sila na yung uh, sculptures na nadidiskubre, no? From the prehistoric, ito ay uh, bunga or ito ay uh, caused by uh, natural erosion, no? Yung, yung pagguho ng mga lupa, no? Yung mga uh, land uh, forms, no? Uh, yun daw yung uh, pinagmulan ng mga sculptures during the prehistoric uh, era no? and not of human artistry. Frequently carving may have mythological or religious significance. So, from the prehistoric sculpture daw class, yung mga nakikita uh, carvings or sculptures ay uh, pwede daw itong merong uh, significance na mythological or yung religious significance. Ibig sabihin, ito ay mal ma marahil ginagamit nila sa kanilang mga uh, religious ceremonies, no? So yun, yun yung yung significance ng kanilang uh, sculptures, no? Let us start first with uh, the Venus of Willendorf. So Venus of Willendorf from uh, 28,000 BCE or before Common Era until 25,000 before Common Era. Okay, this image is from the, the Treasures of the World 1961 CCP Library. The Venus of Willendorf, guys, it is carved from limestone you know, with excessive heavy breast and abdomen used as charm to ensure fertility. So, usually, guys, ang limestone ay matatagpuan sa mga kweba. You know, ang limestone, usually, it is uh, uh, formed you no know, long long period of time bago siya na-perform na with the use of uh, yung mga waters you know, na, 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 na turn sa, sa cave kasi ganun yung, yung formation, di ba? na mga limestone no so uh, mahabang panahon yung yung lumilipas bago nagkakaroon nabubuo ang uh, magandang limestone no so uh, ang Venus of Willendorf ay gawa sa isang limestone limestone okay ang ang pagkaka-describe sa kanya it is uh, it has an, an excessive heavy breast and abdomen used as a charm to ensure fertility so pinaniniwalaan daw na Itong uh, sculpture na ito ay ginagamit as a charm or yung uh, pampaswerte daw no? or para, mag, para maging magkaroon ng anak you know? for, 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 to ensure fertility. No? Okay, this is uh, Venus of Willendorf. No? So, yan. So, yan makikita nyo sa uh, picture, guys. Ayan, no? yung pagkakadescribe sa kanya. No? It has uh, an excessive uh, breast and abdomen yung yun chan no so pero makikita mo sa kanyang kabu ang uh, shape niya ay it is a human uh, form no so hindi nga lang uh, kita yung uh, arms no and yung kanyang uh, face ay wala hindi rin wala rin detalye no pero maraming uh, researchers, no, maraming articles no, 
na pinaniniwalaan na, na ano, kung anong gamit nitong uh, Venus of Willendorf. No? So, next is the Venus of Brasimpoy. Okay, so Venus of, uh, Venus of Brasimpoy is already a 25 year, 25,000 years old sculpture. The, the image uh, from Treasures of the World, 1961 CCP Library also. And uh, a sculpture of a lady with a hood. It is fragmentary ivory figurine from the upper Paleolithic era that realistically represents the human face and hairstyle. So, yung uh, description ng Venus of Rasimpoy, guys, uh, ito daw ay a form of a lady. No? Parang isang babae. No? Baka, dahil merong Ayan, sabi daw, with, with the hood. So, merong uh, parang yung sa hair niya, no? yung sa, sa head, na meron siyang pang nakatakip. No? It is fragmentary ivory. So, gawa sa ivory figurine. No? So, ang ivory, alam naman natin, uh, ito rin ay nakukuha sa uh, tusk or yung, yung, yung pangil ng uh, elephant. No? Okay, yung, yung yan. No? So, Uh, from the Upper Paleolithic Era, so from the Stone Age, no, that realistically represents the human face and hairstyle. So, dit, eto makita daw yung uh, pagaka present no uh, human face. So, ito yung class, no. So, ito yun guys, yung uh, image, no. So, ayan lang siya na yung yung na discover. So po, so hindi siya hindi pa siya masyadong uh, detalyado no. Pero uh, what is described here is yung uh, human face so merong merong eyebrows no, may may uh, may eye socket no, tapos may may nose no. So hindi nga lang uh, uh, detalyado yung uh, walang uh, lips no. So pero uh, yung human face ay uh, almost uh, na naibigay yung detail no and also yung kanyang uh, hair yung hood no so so it describes as a, a lady or a female no okay next sculptures from uh, Egyptian era so from prehistoric we move to sculpture from the Egyptian era so symbolic elements were widely used such as forms hieroglyphics, relative size, location, materials, color, actions, and gestures. So, uh, usually sa Egyptian sculpture daw class, uh, symbolic yung kanilang, uh, yung kanilang uh, purpose or, or significance ng kanilang uh, sculpture. No? So, usually yan, no? yung, yung forms, yung hieroglyphics. Yung hieroglyphics, it is uh, a form of their uh, writings. No? So, yung hieroglyphics nila, usually mga symbols yan, no? symbols yung hieroglyphics, pero it represents their uh, writings, no? represents their communications. And uh, relative size, so pag sinabi relative size, mostly yung, yung uh, kung ano yung normal na size, yun yung nare-represent nila. No? And location, materials, color, actions, and gestures. Their tombs required the most extensive use of sculpture. So, karamihan daw ng sculptures nila ay ginagamit sa kanilang uh, libingan, no, sa tomb. No? So, doon makikita mostly yung uh, sculptures kung saan, kung saan nila ginagamit yung sculptures nila. Okay, the most common materials used for sculptures are wood, no, yung, yung kahoy, ivory also, and stones. So, yan yung Uh, most common, ginagamit during the Egyptian era, yung material nila for their sculpture. What are the characteristics of Egyptian sculpture? Number one, symbolism were heavily used to represent the gods. So, yun nga, katulad ka yung sinabi, no? So, symbolism yung, uh, yung kanilang, ano, yung kanilang uh, significance, yung kanilang uh, sculpture. And, it is uh, used to represent their gods, yung kanilang Uh, Dios, no, yung 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 gods nila. They were represented as composite creatures. Yung gods nila, uh, kapag in-sculpt or 
kapag nag-scalp sila ng god nila, no, ang ang makikita natin is isang composite creatures daw. Pag sinabing composite creatures, parang pinag isa, no, or dalawang creature na nasa isang uh, katawan, no. So sabi dito, animal heads on human body. So makikita natin sa Egypt yung kanilang gods ay yung ulo ay animal and then yung katawan ay human no so relief composition second is relief compositions were arranged in horizontal lines to record an event or represent an action so kapag sila nag nagpaint sa 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 kanilang wall no uh, naka-arrange siya into horizontal paha pahalang pahaba no para may record yung pagkakasunod-sunod or ng event no yung 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 chronological uh, sequence ng event no or uh, nagre-represent siya ng uh, continuous action no okay. then most of the time the gods were shown larger than humans so kapag nag-represent uh, sila ng kanilang sculpture kapag yung uh, god yung gods yung kanilang i-represent kailangan it is uh, larger than the humans no kapag kings naman uh, mas malaki naman larger than their followers so kapag ni-represent nila yon no yung kunyari may kings tas may followers so kailangan uh, nag ano sila nag nag or kahit sa painting nila or sa sculpture nila kailangan uh, mas malaki no yung gods god nila gods nila sa humans yung kings nila sa followers and then yung dead larger than the living yung patay kapag ni-represent nila sa paintings or sa sa sculpture, kailangan mas malaki kaysa sa mga nabubuhay. So, next is empty space were filled with figures or hieroglyphics, no? So, yung mga empty space daw kapag kunya sa painting kasi usually sa tomb sa sa dibingan nga nila, no, ng mga especially sa pay, uh, payroll, yung mga uh, royal uh, blood, no. So, yung kanilang tomb kinupuno yon no ng mga sculptures ng mga paintings and kapag yung mga spaces may mga spaces so pinipil din nila ng mga hieroglyphics hieroglyphics yung mga sim symbolism din yon symbols no that represents their uh, communication or writings next is all individual components were brought to the plane of representation and laid like writing no so so uh, under the ancient Egypt sculpture class or guys I number one yung Queen Nefertiti painted limestone okay so 18th dynasty 1375 to 1357 BC or before Christ image from the treasures of the world 1961 CCP library realistic with heavy lidded eyes slender neck determined chin and pure pearl under her heavy Round. So, yun yung uh, description or yung, yung describe yung Queen Nefertiti painted limestone. No? So, realistic daw siya. So, makat makatotohanan with heavy lidded eyes, slender neck, no? medyo ma ma mahaba yung, yung, yung neck, uh, determined chin and pure profile under her heavy crown. No? So, makikita mo yung uh, kanyang uh, pagka royal or pagka uh, elite no no yung profile no. queen refers to the great royal wife of the egyptian pharaoh so yung queen ay uh, yun yung royal wife no yung asawa ng uh, egyptian pharaoh no, ang tawag sa king sa egypt ay pharaoh so ito yung queen nefertiti painted limestone. So, ayan siya, no? So, next is the Pero Mencaure and his Queen Stone. Fourth Dynasty to 2548-2530 BCE before Common Era. Image from the Treasures of the World 1961 CCP Library. An example of portraits represented in rigid posture and were simple and powerful with very little show of private emotion. So, ang description dito kala sabi dyan, an example of portraits. Pag na portrait, so, uh, it is in a vertical, no, yung patayo, no, naka, 
naka uh, stand no stand alone na sculpture an example of portrait represented in rigid posture and were simple and powerful with very little show of private emotion so wala kang masyadong mababakas na emotion sa uh, sculpture so ito yung uh, Peromen Cower and his Queen Stone. So, yan, yan. So, medyo yan. So, portrait siya. Okay. So, ayan pa. No? Next is sculptures from the classical period. Greek sculpture. Early Greek sculpture were tense and stiff. Their bodies were hidden within enfolding robes. So, yung uh, description ng early Greek, Greek sculptures class ay uh, uh, tense or mat, uh, kung titignan natin ay stiff or matigas or or uh, rough or matigas na na pag uh, pag, dinis, pag tinignan natin siya. No? Their bodies were hidden within enfolding robes. So, hindi nakala, nakalabas yung or hindi mo maikita yung uh, yung natural shape ng kat ng katawan no laging nakadamit naka robe so pag nakikita nakita kayo ng sculpture no ng greek sculpture after 3 centuries of experiments greek sculptures had finally evolved and showed all the points of human anatomy and proportion so after down ng 3 uh, centuries uh, guys yung greek sculpture before puro robe makikita natin yung hindi natin kumbaga nakatago yung yung pinaka lahat ng points or lahat ng curve ng katawan ng tao yung, yung human anatomy or yung exact uh, proportion ng katawan ng tao dahil ang kanilang mga ini-sculpt dati ay puro may mga damit no may nakarobe after 3 centuries daw guys nag naka, ng experimentation nila no eventually nakapag evolve yung kanilang sculpture so pinapakita na nila yung mga bawat points ng uh, uh, human uh, anatomy no and yung perfect proportion no so one of the most popular styles of greek sculptures was the hellenistic style so this style manifest a preference in sculpture for more elaborate patterns mannered arrangement of figures and groups and an emphasis on the presentation of movement for dramatic effects so under the classical Greek sculpture, yung Myron the Discobulus, 450 BC, image from the treasures of the world, 1961, CCP Library. It shows an attitude of maximum tension, full of compressed energy, and about to explode an action. So, yung description ng Myron the Discobulus daw, class, ay uh, somehow may kita mo sa kanya na ito ay nagpapakita ng uh, attitude of maximum tension sinabing attitude of maximum tension parang uh, may kita mo yung stiffness yung tigas parang he is about to perform parang magagawa siya ng isang uh, movement and dun sa sculpture may kita mo sa muscle niya kahit sculpture siya parang there is a uh, yung pagbanat nung kanyang muscle parang merong uh, stiffness, parang merong attitude of, may, parang may tension sa kanyang mga katawan, no? parang may tension and then sabi dyan, full of compressed energy, parang parang meron siyang compressed, parang uh, uh, at, at any moment i, igagalaw niya or meron siyang uh, gagawing action no? so this is the Myron the Discobulus no? so yan yung uh, Sculpture, no, mayroon the, the difference. Next is Roman sculptures. Most Roman sculpture were made of monumental terracotta. Pag sinabing terracotta, ito ay uh, ceramic. No, yung terracotta, it is, uh, uh, it is a, a pottery or ceramic na ginagawa na inexpose into heat. No, so monumental terracotta, they did not attempt to compete with the freestanding Greek works of history of, or mythology, but rather they produce reliefs in the great Roman triumphal columns 
with continuous narrative reliefs around them. So, yung Ro Roman sculptures naman daw, class, uh, hindi sila nakipag-compete sa yung Greek works. So, sabi nga, yung sa Greek, no, yung, 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 yung sa Greek, yung maano natin, ang kanilang history ng kanilang uh, sculptures or yung artworks nila ay uh, ang naging tema ay uh, nagkaroon sila ng pursuit in uh, representing the yung exact proportion ng katawan ng tao. No? Pero dito sabi, yung Roman uh, sculptures daw, they did not attempt to compete with the freestanding. Pag sinabing freestanding, yung, yung sculpture nila uh, kayang tumayo mag-isa. No? Hindi siya nakadikit sa wall, no hindi siya hindi hindi usually kasi dati ganon no? hindi hindi pa na na experiment yung mga pre standing usually yung mga sculpture before no ay naka dikit or sa 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 wall no naka inuukit no sa bato inuukit kaya nakaano siya sa wall naka dikit siya sa wall pag sinabing pre standing yun naka naka like for example yung uh, Myron the Discobolus no so so pre standing siya no. Sabi dito, uh, rather nagproduce daw yung uh, Roman yung, yung Greek Romans ng uh, triumphal columns with uh, continuous narrative reliefs around them. So kasi parang ang uh, ang goal or ang purpose ng Roman Roman sculpture ay uh, parang to uh, give to, to give glory, no, to ma, ma karon ng uh, glorification no sa sa pride ng Roman. So yun, yun yung kanilang ano yun yung kanilang purpose, no? Kaya ang kanila yung mga triumphal columns, no? Yung kanilang uh, Roman sculpture, romantic sculptures, usually sculptures, no? Yung mga columns tapos yung mga sculpture nila nando doon sa between the columns, no? Like for example yung sa uh, the Colosseum, no? Nung, nung Roman, no? So makikita niyo yun sa Colosseum, paikot siya. Tapos puro bawat sa gitna ng column nung yung column pag sinabi yung column yung mga poste no even yung poste nila actually is a uh, considered as a sculpture no yung kanila mga poste yung columns tapos yung mga sculptures din nila yung mga image sculptures nila nandoon din sa may bawat uh, gitna ng poste okay so one example of a roman uh, sculpture is the portonaccio sarcophagus the Portonaccio sarcophagus between 180 to 190 before Common Era, Museo Nacional Romano, used for the bu uh, burial of Roman general uh, involved in the campaign of Marcus Aurelius. Okay, so yung sarcophagus class, no, so from the word sar sarks and uh, pigs, no, so e flesh eating, so from the word flesh, no, and uh, yung uh, ibig sabihin lang ng sarcophagus class is yung coffin no yung yung ataol no so yan so kaya siya uh, ginagamit or used for burial no sa sa pag, paglilibing of roman general involved in the campaign do sa mga uh, roman general na na-involved in war no of Marcus Aurelius the best known and most elaborate of all sarcophagus it is a box-like funeral receptacle for a dead body. Comes from a Greek word. Marks, yan, no? So, yun yung, yun yung uh, ibig sabihin nun. So, ito yun, class. No? Yan yun, guys. No? So, may kita nyo, detail siya. No? And, uh, ayan. No? So, ang naka-detail dyan, class, guys yung mga yung war na nangyari no yung 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 paglaban ng mga general no roman general no na kasama sa uh, war no of Mark, Marcus Aurelius okay sarcophagus from Servetiris C 520 BCE Museo Nacional de Villa Gilea made of terracotta length 67 2.06 meter. A husband and wife are shown reclining comfortably as if they were on a couch. No? So, ito yung sarcophagus from Servetiris C. 
So, it is also a coffin. It is also a sarcophagus. Uh, lagayan din siya ng dead bodies, no, ng cadaver. So, pero, meron siyang form, meron siyang uh, sculpture siya. No, so, yung ibabaw niya, yan, no, yung pinapakita yung uh, a wife and a husband reclining, nakarecline sila dun sa parang sopa, yung mismo copy, no. Okay. So, next is Byzantine sculpture. The dominant themes in Byzantine sculptures are religious, everyday life scene, and motifs from nature. So, sa Byzantine era naman, guys, mostly ang, kanil, ang, ang kanilang sculpture ay uh, religious uh, sculpture. No? So, and also, meron silang, uh, ang subject also nila is everyday, everyday life scenes and uh, nature. Animals were used as symbols like dog, deer, peepaw. So, uh, ginagam, uh, ginagamit nila yung mga animals na ito as a symbolic. No? While some had acrostic sign. So, pag sinabing acrostic sign, ito yung mga pinagsama-samang first letter of the word. No? Yung first letter of the word. Tapos pinagsama-sama. Yun yung acrostic. Form of writing in which taking the first letter syllable or word of different lines and putting them together can be resolved in a message that contained a great theological significance. Okay. The example is the Barberini diptych. So, ito. No, so, hindi siya free. Ito, patulad ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Ito ay hindi freestanding. So, nasa wall siya. No? Naka, nasa wall siya. Naka, naka scott. No? So, ayan yung the uh, Barberini diptych. Okay. So, Romanesque sculpture. Some of the famous sculpture pieces are relic quarries, altar, frontals, crucifix, and devotional images. So, pagdating na Romanesque, mas uh, lalong, uh, kumbaga, from the Byzantine to Romanesque, uh, nagkaroon ng uh, development, pero uh, usually from uh, religious uh, artworks pa rin yung pagdating sa Romanesque. No? Small individual works of art were generally made of costly materials for royal and aristocratic patrons. These lightweight devotional images were usually carried in processions both inside and outside churches. So, ito, uh, nakikita, nakikita rin natin to, no? actually. Uh, ngayon, evident pa rin siya. No? Yung mga lightweight devotional images, so yung mga maliliit na inu inukit na mga devotional images, Ayan, no? so usually before daw, so during the Romanesque, yan yung kanilang mga uh, mga sculptures. No? This is an example, the last judgment. So, yung last, last judgment na yan, may kita nyo, uh, uh, it represents a, uh, a journey. No? No? So, yan, no? so, uh, itong last judgment ay nakaukit sa isang church in uh, in somewhere in uh, Europe. Gothic sculpture. Gothic sculpture had greater freedom of style. They no longer lay closely against the wall but began to project outward. Figures were given their own particular attitudes instead of being set into particular patterns and were more lively and realistic. So, yung Gothic sculpture daw class, pagdating sa Gothic sculpture, so, malawak na yung kanilang freedom in choosing their subject or yung choosing their uh, styles. No? Sabi dyan, they no longer lay closely against the wall but began to project outward. So, mostly mga freestanding na rin, no? Figures were given their own particular attitudes instead of being set into particular patterns and were more lively and realistic. So, in short, it is a deviation from the uh, old normal. No? So, so, that's all for now, class, and keep safe and God bless everyone.